achieve what you want to achieve. That is how you build your life. That is how you stand out. That is how you become the person you want to become. It is not about pleasing everybody. It's not about attending any event. It's not about being with boys boys, with girls girls. It is not about you are too something. It is not about listening to naysayers and dumb people who don't have anything to do with their life. You've got to be committed and tell yourself, I'm going to be the best of version of myself. I'm going to take my life to the next level. Right, so I'm very much excited about how far we have come in our journey towards the ICA May 2020 examination. But most importantly, as you can see, January is gone, February is gone, and we are now in March. And approximately we have about eight weeks to go to the main examination. And I believe that you've been studying, you've been working hard, and you've been putting in the efforts in order for you to prepare for the examination. Now, in the month of March, there are a lot of things that uh, my team and I are putting together here to enable you to uh, uh, prepare well for your examination. So make sure that you continue to stay connected, you continue to be a subscriber of my YouTube channel, you continue to follow me on my Instagram page as well as on my Facebook page because on all of these platforms we are going to be releasing uh, content, uh, videos, strategies, techniques, examination analysis to assist you so you can prepare well for your examination. Remember, if you have not been serious in January, you've not been serious in February, now we are in March make sure you start being serious. Like I always say, for those of you who postpone, for those of you who are waiting two weeks to the exams and start being serious, you are setting yourself up for failure. Of the birth, you are setting yourself up for failure. What you want to avoid is learning under pressure. What you want to avoid is scanning through a lot of things. What you want to avoid is jumping from one event to another, from one place to another, from one topic to another, and not having any order, not having any strategy, not having any specific goal that you are achieving. So what am I saying? If you have not started yet, you are not being served yet, you are not committing yourself yet, now is the time to start committing yourself. Now is the time to start putting in your efforts. You can do a lot of harm, you can do a lot of havoc, you can do a lot of damages and take your life to the next level. In the next eight weeks, if you are going to commit yourself, if you are going to work hard, I can guarantee you, irrespective of the number of subjects you want to write, irrespective of the number of subjects that you're going to be sitting for, irrespective of the number of subjects that you are preparing yourself to write for the the May 2020 examination, I can guarantee you if the rest of these eight weeks you're going to be committed, block out some time, sacrifice some things, and put something on the line and prepare yourself, work hard at it, I can guarantee you that you can become successful, you can pass the examination. It is possible. It is possible. One thing I always say that you want to avoid is to sit down two weeks to the exams and start being serious about it. It's to sit down two weeks to the exams and start working hard. It is something that will hurt you. It is something that will pain you. Now, look at how you experienced your, look at how you felt when you failed that exam. Look at how you felt. You, you knew you would pass the exams, but the results came and you failed the exams. If you failed, it means only one thing. It means you didn't do something right. It means you didn't study well. It means you missed something. It means you misinterpreted something. It means you did not understand very well. So for those of you who have failed the exams before, and instead of you to go through the thing again as though you've not studied it before, but you are boasting yourself and you trust in yourself and you think, oh, I don't, I already know everything. Two weeks, I can do something and pass. I I can guarantee you what you are doing is to fail what you are doing is to fail what am I saying you've got to sacrifice you've got to put in the work it is that which will get you the results that you're looking for that is it that is it. There are a lot of you who say, Shira, I'm not even interested in the best students. I'm not even interested in anything. I'm just looking for the pass mark. I'm just looking for 50%. Targeting just the 50% makes you lazy. Targeting just the 50% makes you see that you're not supposed to put in a lot of effort. Targeting only the pass mark 
makes you to be dormant, to be lazy, and to do dumb stuff that, has, that doesn't add value to your life. You've got to target to become the best. You've got to target yourself to be the opt, uh, uh, optimum. You've got to target yourself to be the prime. You've got to target yourself to be the one that people look up to. When you do that, you become the benchmark, you become the, the standard against which people are going to be measuring. And when you do that, you are going to really enjoy what you're doing and you'll be able to become successful. Do not pay the registration fee. Do not pay the tuition fee. Do not spend all this time, all this money, and not put in the effort to study. Do not do it. Do not do it. I have failed an exam before. I've always shared this with my students here on campus where I registered for a subject, five, six subjects, results came and I failed five of the six papers. And, and this, is not, this is not at the time where I have money. I was broke. It is not the time where I had money. I was broke. I actually uh, uh, did a lot of things to be able to raise that money. And it wasn't even in Ghana cities. It was in pounds. And after paying all this money, I failed the exams. What did I do? I just sat down and asked myself, why did I fail? And I, as I started to interrogate myself, why did I fail? What did I do wrong? How can I change this? How can I, how can I study better? I identified that it was my fault. It was my problem. I was the one responsible for it. And from that day, I swore to myself, I'm never going to fail any exam again. And it was that experience that launched me on the journey to be able to publish 13 books so far. 13 books. As of the time, I'm I'm shooting this video. 13 books because I failed and I decided that I'm not going to fail again. So I needed to explore. I needed to work hard. Well, has it been easy? No. I have given up a lot of things. I have given up a lot of association. I have given up a lot of uh, events. I have given up a lot of communication. I have given up a lot of things because you got to sacrifice something to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. That is how you build your life. That is how you stand out. That is how you become the person you want to become. It is not about pleasing everybody. It's not about attending any event. It's not about being with boys boys, with girls girls. It is not about you are too some it is not about listening to naysayers and dumb people who don't have anything to do with their life. You've got to be committed and tell yourself, I'm going to be the best of version of myself. I'm going to take my life to the next level. And if you do that, that is how you become successful. Why am I telling you this? Because I want you to become successful. Why do I want you to become successful? Because if you become successful, the world will be a better place. Why will the world be a better place? Because you will not complain. Because you will not, uh, you will not sit down and let your family, your children go through pain. Because you can give money out to people to help charity and the world will become a better place. So you are responsible to become successful, not just for yourself, but to make the world a better place. Place. That's what you've got to understand. You've got to put in the effort. You've got to put in the sacrifice. You've got to give up something to become successful. I tell my students, don't aim for the pass mark. If you aim for the pass mark, I can guarantee you, you're going to fail. If you aim for the past mark, you're not going to become the best version of yourself. If you just aim for the 50%, you're not going to put yourself under that pressure. All this uh, it's, not, it's not hard just from the olive tree, but the olive has to be pressed. It has to be pressed for the olive oil to come out. So no oil without pressing. You've got to press. You've got to go through some pressure to make you to become successful. You can pass your ACC. You can pass your ICA. You can pass your SEMA. You can pass your CPA. You can do your MBA, your MSc, your financial reporting, financial accounting, public sector. Whatever it is that you are writing, I can guarantee you, you can pass it. It is possible. But you've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the sacrifice. If you put in the work, you put in the sacrifice, I can guarantee you, you're going to become successful. So what am I saying? Eight weeks to go. Put in the work, put in the effort, sacrifice, and I know you'll become successful. I'll see you in another broadcast as we continue with our journey towards your success and making the world a better place.